new album uh, actually is, will be out next week, so we are very excited. And um, this time we worked with the French label Listenable Records because yeah, it feels right to do so. And Lamec is always involved in everything, of course. And uh, yeah, this album is a bit different from the others, I could say that. And uh, we are actually very, very happy with the result, but of course. You would be the judge at the end if you like it or not. That's personal. Of course. This album is uh, much different than the predecessors because uh, it was uh, made as a, as a band and not uh, like a project like the others before. Uh, I mean more individually. So. Uh, we all made music, we all wrote uh, lyrics, at least uh, we two, 50-50. And uh, we are four members now and uh, we played everything, record everything, uh, the way you have to do. And uh, I took the job of mixing and producing until everyone was happy, including the record label. And uh, regarding this, well, this is the first time we are signed with a bigger label. So um, this experience uh, has just begun. So we will see in the future what uh, uh, time will tell. Uh, but we are just uh, hoping for It's a big step up towards great things to come in the future also. And I think this this album will mark new territories which we will explore and experimentations without being pretentious and straightforward and uh, very energetic and also very deep personal and uh, it's just begun I think the album sounds very natural and earnest, raw in a way, but still well produced, but very natural, by, made by four, four people in a rehearsal room. For a greater good, to create a link between the band and the public, uh, the songs were made from the first beginning, from the very beginning to play live. And uh, yeah, this is a live album. It's an album we can uh, present to the author, we, we, we can show, we can share uh, without any issue. And uh, we are pretty sure the people will like it as well, because we, we can feel the the force involved in every single brief blast or part. You got the picture. But actually, in my my own favorite uh, gig was in a very shitty place in uh, Antwerp. Like no scene, no backstage, nothing. So not even a song, guy. But we we used to play it our job, but we felt that uh, I mean you did not feel like playing when you saw the, the place to just shit hole. Uh, but we of course played and. Uh, it was actually, in my opinion, the best live experience because we got a very good connection with the audience and the, everybody was focusing on, on us on the show, not taking pictures with the iPhone like this, you know, modern stuff. I so I really like the dimensions of that concept, despite the crappy place. For me, it was a Personal experience was in uh, Austria. <coughs> uh, we played and uh, we made a 
so good connection with the public, with the audience, and uh, we play all the songs, and they, they reacted like uh, totally crazy. They wanted to have more after the last song, but uh, they, they they were trying to cut us because the other bands uh, had to perform as well. But uh, people did not give a shit. They just wanted us to continue playing. But Unfortunately, we could, but uh, personally, uh, I'm so thankful with them, and uh, it feels more and more like our music belongs to them. So that is uh, our ultimate sacrifice. We made music to rejoice and to make them happy as well, because uh, there is a spirit behind every single note we make. Magic. And my personal favorite experience is not just one single individual gig, it was a whole, um, a whole tour in the tour of Europe uh, back in 2015. And that was actually the mark of uh, this constellation, which is right now. Uh, and everything just went so well, everything went so smoothly. And everybody was on focus all the time, and we just gave it all, all our best. Even though, as she said, we came to really small places, we still gave everything we got, and then some, and everything just turned out so beautifully well. So we we said, no, we won't go back to to the past. We only look forward for now. Hard to choose one in particular, but I guess the, the, the one in Antwerp and the, the one in Austria. Great energy. But in overall, any gig that you get the, the connection with the audience that gives you this special kind of energy. At those two shows. In particular, yeah, great shows. Nothing planned, but the um, label is working on something, so we will see. But this year it seems we will visit new countries, like uh, this is new for us, uh, play the first time in Italy. Uh, Mexico will happen also this year, and um, Probably also we'll come back to our home country Chile and play maybe in early 2018. So we got this kind of dates awaiting for us. It might be easy to get this, you know, the success of connecting with people in South America because um, they. They are more wild there, so they are like uh, they are not analyzing everything you do, like maybe the Europeans, which is not bad, of course. But uh, I think it will be a very different experience for for us, especially for the Swedish guys, which is one they have never been playing in South America. So I'm curious to to share this experience with them.